Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here. How's it going? I'm back with more Spyro Ripto's Rage, and we're about to go into Idle Springs here. Now, really, you don't have to. You can wait till later if you want, but let's just go in here anyway. Entering Idle Springs. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, poor guy. All he wants is a woman. The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Hmm. All right. Sucks to be you. Again, I'm pretty sure that you can talk to him again. He'll tell you the objective for this area. But basically, it's just to destroy all the idols that are guarding the doors, and that's it. you defeat him, this guy will run up and destroy the lock. This guy has a fireproof shield, so hit him with your charge and he'll die. Or if you're daring, you can actually attack him with your fire the second he moves his shield all the way, but that's really tough to do. Fire used fire, it's super effective. You know, then he used charge, which is also super effective. <laughs> anyway, let's come over here. Come on, there you go. What's up? Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Really? Again? I already knew that. <laughs> see if I can pull off my one move like I was talking about. Yeah, so he doesn't really move his out of the way, so you can't really do it. I think that was a different thing. Waha. You gotta wanna help. Anyway, let's look over here. And there's a locked door we can't do anything about. So he's being chased by this guy. Waha. By all means, take your time. There you go. Haha. <laughs> if we go in there, let's go over here. Missed twice, because we suck. Ha. <laughs> there we go. Third time's the charm, right? That's right. I'm not saying that because of anything that's going on here, by the way. I'm just saying, oh crap, just to say, oh crap. Well, I will say this, though. Uh, work has been kicking my ass lately. It's pretty intense, you know. I've been um, having to work pretty much eight hour shifts, which is a lot of fun, you know. <coughs> so, yeah.
I know many people are probably like, oh, I work eight hour shifts every day. Well, I don't know if many of you start at um, 11 o'clock or 10.30, you know, p.m. So, yeah. What do you got to say, Zoe? To aim the camera left or right, press the L2 or R2 button. Or L1 and R1. Anyway. Charge that guy always. Anyway, nothing over here. Alright. Come up here. There's the exit right there. But we don't want to go there just yet. Let's grab these. And head back to the start. Now I could have taken care of this from the get-go, but I didn't know how it'd be effective, you know. I don't know what it would do, so I thought I would just wait until now to do it. Ugh. Just had a shooting pain through my shoulder. And it's still there. Ow. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm just wondering what's this. That perception would make me think of something else. Now, if you didn't know how to swim when you came into this level, there'd be something that you'd miss out on. This is I already learned how to do it. Uh, we're gonna be able to pull it off. And if you are playing along, which if you are, that's awesome. Uh, you probably are going to swim too, so you should be following with me through un underwater. If I get a comment saying, "How do you learn how to swim?" I'd be like, "Okay, obviously you didn't watch my last episode." <laughs> uh. Here though, there's some more gems. Okay. Hmm, okay. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Okay. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Alright, solve three giant auto puzzles. The first puzzle is turn all blocks yellow. X foreman, but for help. Uh, don't. It's not worth it. Now, what you're gonna notice is that they start out with it in like a D-pad shape. If you step on this one, only this will be yellow. Step on it again, the ones return back to normal. Same goes for this one. This one. And this one. You know, so basically the corners all do the same thing. Alright. Okay. I thought I had the solution down pat. <sighs> yeah, these puzzles, um, there's a very easy solution, and I just got it, thankfully. But, um... Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Basically, though, I've seen people do that in, like, you know, seconds, so that just proves that I did pretty good for my, uh, more or less first attempt in a very long time. Because, like, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but the last time I played this game was years ago, so I'm just now playing it again for your guys' entertainment, and to kind of just, you know, more or less reacquaint myself with it, because I just left it sitting up here, you know, for a while, and I think it deserves some more love, you know. 
so to speak. Anyway, let's go talk to that foreman again and uh, help him out after Spyro drowns. I'm just kidding, he won't drown. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. Says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Basically, don't feed him red fish. Like that one. If you feed him a red fish at all, you have to start over more or less because he like throws up all the other fish. One time I've had like three red fish in a row. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Basically, they give you just enough time that you don't have to worry about jumping the gun. You know, so... Just, uh, wait. <coughs> and you should be okay. Oops. Damn it. Don't worry, I'm not the only one that's done this. <laughs> Don't you wish if you went fishing that fish would just hop out of the water? We could catch him in a net. That'd be awesome. Oops. Yay! Not that time, though. I don't know about you, but getting shot by fire when you were a fish would really suck. So I don't think you would fall back into the water and be fine. <laughs> you know? Okay, this game really needs to be more generous. Because, like... Yeah, I'm having, like, no luck here. This is kind of pathetic. I think if you shoot a fish into his mouth while he's throwing up, he'll actually still spit it out too, which is kind of funny. <sighs> Could you imagine that those fish are still alive? One time I got 10 fish in a row that they're all the good color though. One time when I was having hard luck with this, you know. So it is completely random, you know. I mean, you have no time limit on this. I don't know why I'm trying to rush it, you know. Except for the fact that I'm doing a let's play. <laughs> I need to stop jumping the gun. That should not have counted if the other fish didn't count. That's bullshit game. Oh. Yeah, what the hell? That didn't count last time. <sighs> uh. Just my eyes so I didn't get that one. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the college. Damn. It took me like the whole episode. Sheesh. 
Oh, okay, I know the episode's not almost done yet, but you get my point. These are the customers he's talking about, by the way. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Now, basically, um, the way this works is you'll notice that he stomps on the star one first. And so you're probably like, okay, so what do we got? We got a white moon, an orange moon, a orange um, diamond? I don't know. A uh, circle that is blue, and another star. So let's try this one. Nope. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, and he'll start, and he'll talk to you each time you mess it up. So you kind of want to use that as an initiative not to mess up. If you jump. No. If you jump. Now, I don't know if this is random or not, so I can't tell you that. And the treasure chest opens, or whatever nice crap job, that is. Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give hey. you is the shiny thing I found in our toolbox. So you found a shiny thing, okay. Yeah, it's an orb. <laughs> There's nothing else it could really be, right? Also, if you like, stand here long enough, you've just noticed these will actually have little currents passing through them. It's kind of neat. Seen some of the treasures in this area, you know, the gems, so don't be surprised. In fact, in almost every single level, I can guarantee that there's going to be a cut somewhere to show where the treasures are. So I'm going to end up missing them a lot. In fact, One up. Yeah, it won't happen two times in a row, though. I can guarantee that. At least I've never seen that happen. Excuse me. Here. Okay. You don't want to go any further. Do you? No, I'll throw you over the edge. Just a little bit faster to jump in the water. Not much, but enough. Next treasure is over... Next thing we want to get is over here. Ah! Damn it! Can't you see I'm trying to do something here? God. Anyway, let's do that. I 
don't have extra time for this episode, so it may not be a bad idea to make this 30 minutes long. Cause I want to do one more thing before I'm done with this recording session. Then let's finish up this level. I know, the nerd's catchphrase. I got one more level to do, guys, and I'll be done. <laughs> Or should I say the gamer's catchphrase? Nerds play stuff like World of Warcraft and say like, I just get one more level to make, guys, and I'll be ready to leave. Damn it, just get off the computer and come with us. <laughs> you know, exactly. <coughs> Alright, how close are we? Not even. Wow. Now make sure to gather up all the gems before you uh, start this uh, objective. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can go and talk to the lady in the middle, and she'll tell you this. She'll be like, It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Dancing hula girls? Why would you want to do that? That doesn't really sound very useful. Well, if you say so... Now, this is another thing that you only have one shot to do, so you don't want to mess this up. Ah. You thought running normally is hard. Another problem is you actually have to keep down, held, keep the uh, square button held down the whole time you're doing this. There we go, got it. Then this happens. Looks like the little idol in the middle is like crying. It's kind of funny. Anyway, it fills up with water, and then they like shoot it. Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I oh, can pursue okay. that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Lies, but okay. Mm. Anyway, that's all the orbs in this area. That's um, So that means all that's left is to find all the gems. Mm. <sighs> Fun. Again, I don't know where they could be, so um, we're just going to have to kind of run around for a while and hope that we find them. Hmm. They've already been all over there, so... I am going to go for a little bit of length on this episode, so don't worry. Also, try as you might, you can't dive in this water. It's not, uh, deep enough. There it is. Found it. It's on top of a hill over there. Oops, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to run into you. Or did I? No, I'm just kidding. Wow, that was funny, because, like, the way his, uh, headpiece is right there, it looked like he had an exclamation mark over his head. Like, oh my god, there's a Spyro there. <laughs> a wild Spyro approaches. <laughs> anyway, um, 
I need to stop saying stuff like that. See if I can figure out how to get up to there. Aha! Okay. Well, don't fall off. Jumps like those just suck right there. What's left is this right here. Let's chase that thing down. And it should have landed somewhere over here, right? Yep, over there on that island. I don't even actually remember how to get up there. We just have to, like, yeah, do that. Also, another cool thing, I don't know if I've mentioned this, Sparks actually has a little bubble around him whenever you're swimming in the water. It's kind of cool looking. You anyway, know, this should be our last gym right there. Yep. So all that's left is to go collect the, uh, talisman. And then we'll finish this episode prior. Or properly. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there's that glitch again. Stop running into him, jackass! There you go. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, sir? Why you pre oh, If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. For the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Why would I want to work here? Golly. Idiot. No, <laughs> and you get a nice little, um, idol for a talisman. That's kind of neat looking. And we leave. Get this cool little cutscene afterwards. <laughs> They're like, um, okay. Alright everyone, well, I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, I hope that this was a complete surprise as well, because that's what I wanted it to be, so, um, when I come back with, um, whatever I decide to record next, um, I hope we uh, enjoy ourselves some more, you know, enjoy commentating, well, me at least, and you guys enjoy watching me do whatever the hell I do. <laughs> Till then, everyone. Bye.